Hey everyone, welcome back. If you've ever thought about boosting your Pinterest game but got overwhelmed by the idea of creating loads of gorgeous pins, you're in the right place. Today I'm going to show you exactly how to use ChatGPT and Canva together to bulk create 100 Pinterest pins, all in just a few minutes. By the end of this video, you'll be able to schedule out months worth of eye-catching content with way less effort, freeing up more time for the parts of your business you actually love. Let's dive right in and start with ChatGPT. First things first, go to ChatGPT and type in, create 101 Pinterest pins. Now what you're doing here is asking ChatGPT to generate a list of text ideas, topics, or titles that can be used on your pins. Think of ChatGPT as your supercharged brainstorming partner. It saves you from that blank page anxiety and kickstarts your content with creative prompts. Don't worry if your prompt isn't perfect the first time. You can always tweak it and ask for variations. Once ChatGPT gives you a nice, big list, you'll want to save this output, so just copy everything and paste it into Excel. Excel is great here because it lets you keep each idea neatly in its own row, making it easy for Canva to understand what text should go on each pin. Okay, now let's switch over to Canva. Head to your Canva dashboard and click on Create a Design. For Pinterest, we want our pins to look sharp and uniform, so select Custom Size and enter 300 by 300 pixels. Now this might sound a little technical, but using a square size like this keeps your designs versatile and easy to tweak later. If you're aiming for a different Pinterest aspect ratio, you can always adjust these numbers, but 300 by 300 is a solid starting point for this method. Once your blank canvas pops up, it's time to design your pin template. A simple way to make your pins pop is to use a frame for any images and then add an element as your background. For example, drag in a photo frame that you can later fill with your own images or graphics, then choose a background element, maybe a solid color, a gradient, or a pattern that matches your brand style. It's a little like setting up the foundation of your house before moving in all the furniture. Feel free to experiment here and remember, consistency in your visuals helps people recognize your pins on Pinterest. Now for the real magic Canva's Bulk Create feature. Find and open the Bulk Create option under Apps. This is where Excel comes in handy. Click to connect your spreadsheet and map the data, your list of pin titles or ideas to the text placeholder in your design. If this part feels confusing, don't sweat it. Just take a breath and take your time lining up the text field in your Canva template with the column from Excel. You're basically telling Canva. Hey, for each item in this list, make me a pin with this text. Once you're set up, hit Generate. Canva will quickly create pages for every single text entry, yes, that can mean literally a hundred pins in a few seconds. Pretty wild, right? Head to your project and you should see all your new pin designs ready to go. Take a little time to scan through, make any quick tweaks, maybe swap out a background or adjust the text positions for extra polish. And just like that, you're done. 100 Pinterest pins created quicker than most people can even write out a to-do list. From here, you can download everything in bulk and start scheduling them on Pinterest. If any part of this process tripped you up, don't worry, it gets easier every time you do it. Thanks for watching. If you found this helpful, please give the video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments if you have any questions or if there's another tool you want me to cover next. Don't forget to subscribe for more step-by-step -step tutorials. Happy pinning and I'll see you in the next one.